Ludwig Bistrom, you spent four weeks away from Oulu and uh, after the end of the season, how did you spend your time away from hockey? Uh, a lot of time spending with the family, always playoff time. It's a lot of time away from, from the wife and the kids and uh, the wife get to do a lot of, a lot of hard work and, uh, at home with the kids. So uh, just a lot of time with the family and uh, seeing friends and family from back home. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. Your family has been building a new home in Örnsköldsvik. Uh, how's the construction going there? Uh, it's going good. We've been uh, we moved in about a week and a half ago, so uh, it's a little bit more downtime now. Everything's finished? No. <laughs> uh, downstairs is pretty much finished. Uh, got some work on the upstairs still, but pretty much. How did it feel to return to Olo now and see the team again? Uh, it's great. I mean, new players, new faces, uh, obviously fairly new coach. Uh, so it's it's been good to to meet all the new guys and uh, the new faces and get to know them a little bit, uh, which is fun and uh, good to be back in the city too and uh, see what I see all the new construction that's been going up here too. It's it's pretty unbelievable how much they're building here right now. Last uh, season had a bitter ending for you guys, an overtime loss in, in Game 7 against Ilves. What kind of a feeling did that, that uh, ending leave in you? It sucks. Uh, it's, it's really hard. Uh, it was hard to, to, to get in. Uh, like the first week after, after we lost, it was uh, not a lot of happy days. Uh, it was tough. Uh, Especially with the ending we had, Game 7, overtime, like you said, uh, it's, uh, it's really tough. Does it um, motivate you? Yeah, 100%. Uh, now we know uh, we, we, we don't want that ending for next season. Uh, that's one thing that's 100% for sure. Uh, so yeah, we will be a lot more motivated and, and uh, we will get further next season. What are the biggest things as a team that you guys can do better? A lot of things. Uh, we, were, we were close, but uh, not close enough. I think overall, Ilves was the stronger team in, in the playoffs. Uh, I think we have a lot of things to work on. Especially, we, we brought in a lot of new players uh, late in the year. Uh, I think uh, we can, can get to know the whole group from the start this year. and. Uh, uh, and build off of that and uh, get get some more structure and and uh, in in our game I feel like that's that's the biggest things for us for next season and and uh, to have that bitter taste in our mouth from from last season I think that's that's only going to help us for next year what kind of things can you players do to to make the team tighter and then build to the right uh, right way right from the start here I think this is good what we're doing now. Uh, everyone who's under contract uh, is is here now, and we will. N not everyone will be here for the six weeks, uh, but uh, a lot of us will be here at least for two weeks to get to know everyone and and see each other. And then, obviously, when we get here in August, we're probably gonna have some team building things and uh, and get to know each other even more because uh, there's. Probably some new, newer players who's going to come in before that. So uh, I think uh, get to know each other right away, get some team building things uh, to 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 build up the the strength and the chemistry in the in the group. Uh, when you came to Olo, you were uh, pretty clear that you wanted to win. The team is this team is expected to win, but it hasn't in the in the last few years. Uh, what kind of pressure is there, and uh, and do the players feel it? Yeah, maybe the blame is on me. Uh, it was going really good before I came here. Uh, I really hope not. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pressure. The people, the people of Olu uh, expect uh, Kerpa to win and uh, the people deserve us to, to win. Uh, they, uh, it's a big hockey, hockey city and uh, it hasn't been working out uh, that good uh, lately, but uh, Next year, I really think and hope that things are going to change for the better. 
Do you think the, the pressure also has to be there, keeps you on your toes? Yeah, I mean, pressure in the right way, 100%. Uh, we all know what the team, the, the club, the city expects and wants. Uh, but also you can't be thinking about that too much. You need to enjoy it and, uh, and have fun on the ice. And uh, uh, so, yeah, pressure in the right way is never something bad, I think. You speak uh, in a great way about the city of Oulu. Uh, you got here in a pretty unfortunate time with uh, with the COVID uh, striking on on your first season. And uh, but last last spring you got the taste of what ice hockey is at its best here in Oulu. What kind of a feeling was that playing here in in front of a full crowd? Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, especially when the when the playoffs started. Uh, you started to to see the people come and, and get even more involved and uh, excited. Uh, so it was a lot of fun to, to play those games here at home. Uh, obviously, we wish it, it could have been going on for longer, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun to, to play the, the, the playoff games here at home. On a team level, the plan is uh, pretty clear. You guys are working hard to, to be stronger, faster team next, next season. Well, what are you going to be working on on an individual level? Yeah, I mean, uh, same things that I've always been working on. I feel like uh, I'm, I'm I'm getting a little bit older, but uh, I, I feel like I still can can get better. Uh, I'm not 35 or 36. Uh, I feel like I can still develop and uh, and and work hard in the summer. I can gain some weight, get a little bit stronger in 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 the corners and in front of the net and. Uh, that's that's mostly what I will be working on off off the ice, and then uh, on the ice, I feel like uh, we will have a more structured uh, system and team next year. So uh, buy into that and 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 work. Maybe try to get some more goals next year. You guys are professionals, and you build up your kind of your own routine. You find your own ways to to practice and and, and train. Uh, but what kind of things can a player do to, to find new ways to improve? I mean, first thing is that you need to understand what you need to do and really buy into how much time it takes to, to get better and uh, to keep that high, high professionalism. Maybe that's, that's a tough word. Uh, uh, no, you, you really need to work on yourself and you need to know your body and, uh, and uh, need to be professional and not, not go out and drink every weekend or eat shitty food. And you need to be working out, eat good and yeah, but still you need to enjoy the summer too and, and have fun, but you need to be professional. What kind of a team will Garabat be next season? A really hardworking team who's going to be a pain in the ass to play against. Like I said, structured, uh, good defensively, and uh, from what it looks like right now, we have a lot of a lot of good players. Obviously, there will probably be some more guys coming in, but uh, I, already now I feel like it looks pretty solid. You're starting your fourth season in Oulu. Uh, what kind of a place is Oulu for your family? It means a lot. Uh, it's. Uh, it's it's a really good city. Uh, we like it a lot, uh, and uh, fo found some friends outside of the hockey too. So it's uh, uh, yeah, this city is uh, it's been really good for us, and I think or I know it's gonna keep being good for us.